Hey, so we just gave Basil a bath and she's really hyper. Uh, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show some tug of war energy things that you can really put into your dog where you have a bonding experience with <clears throat> tugging and pulling and everything like that in a safe way. Um, but then also when you want it to be done, we can control the energy and we can stop that. So I bet When we're tugging, we're going to let them rotate around so they really, really like it. But we're not shaking back and forth. Right? Because we don't want to hurt their neck. So, slow circles are okay. It's a natural movement for them, but don't shake. And you got to really get in there. Oh, yeah, she has the playground. The playground's fun. She loves the playground. Oh, okay. But now, maybe it's a little bit much. So, we're just going to lower the energy now. She still wants this one. Just breathe. Sit. Good girl. See? The energy is just lowered down. That's all it is. Now we go again. Oh. And then play again. And play again. Uh, this is a little bit dangerous with this ball, so don't do this with the ball like this unless you really have faith and know what your dog's gonna do. You know, this is more. Bezel and I have been doing this for you know, almost a year now, right? So, so probably like 10 months of proper tugging. And you start with like a longer toy and really get the bond going. Uh, this ball, I like it because it has these little holes in it. So I can really put my fingers in there and get close to her now. Um, so she really feels like we're really playing when we're, and this, this is all play, don't forget. This is a, it's an important bonding thing for a dog to be able to play like that. And when we want it to be over, then we control it. Okay, so. And that's it. Notice I didn't say anything. I didn't say give it. I didn't say drop it. And she knows those commands in terms of treat. I didn't say, uh, you know, stop or I didn't even say her name. Um, and I've also found that looking them in the eyes once you have a close connection with them does help sometimes. But even that, I wasn't looking. It just literally whew, breathe out and you let your hands just basically lose any feeling and any tension, any energy. It's really all about tension. And right now, she's not gonna go look at the ball. Please, my cat. Go. See, you, you control when she's allowed to have it, but also when you want it back from her. And then you can play it again. Hold it. That one, she just kinda let it go, so I'll give, I'll give it back to her. <laughs> And like with any training session or play time, try to keep the training to five minutes to ten minutes max, um, depending on what you're trying to teach, because um, you want them to feel successful. Good girl, good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, that's a good girl. All right. So that's energy and tug of war.